more. Where? Bro, they fucking took me to the fucking woods, bro, and they fucking tied. I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I fucking will show you every fucking video you could ever fucking believe. Bohemian Grove is real. They fucking tied me down, and they made me fucking watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a fuck anymore. Yes, I fucking lost it. They're raping little kids. He doesn't want to take us all, so let's go. Fun, Ryan. He doesn't want to take no, this. No, come on, fuck this guy. Bro, fuck this dude, dude. Come on, come on. Who? Who? Bro, you, do know you, the, you, know, you know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they are, bro. I, no, you know, you, you know the path Andrew, you're going down is dangerous, my friend. That's I don't give a about. fuck. I don't give a fuck. They can't touch me. I'm a god. Well, that's the first point of contention because I care about you a lot and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you, which is bro, the worst part No, they it. can't, bro. All right, so come touch me, you fucking bitch. You have proof of these things? On, you have proof of this on your phone? Yes, of course I do. What the fuck are you talking about? Of course. If Alex could get a fucking video from the Bohemian Grove, of course I could. Well, I have to be careful what I say because I'm in the middle of a judicial process right now. You want me to get my, you out of it? I can help. Well, you. Bro, my door gets kicked in if I if I say what I'm thinking. Okay, uh, well, I can help you get out of it if you want. I know people. Oh. Well. <laughs> tell us what tell everyone at home then. Start from the beginning. When did this happen? Where did this happen? What exactly did you see? Why have you tweeted the things you've tweeted? Let people at home understand you a little because bit. Because I don't give a fuck they date me, right? I was two years old, they raped me. I have proof of that too. That's where it all started, bro. Okay? You do know there's going to be certain people who believe, and I'm, Ryan, you know, I like you. We've been speaking for years. You know there's yeah. going to be people who believe you're just saying this because you've, I don't know, had a mental breakdown or taken drugs and you're repeating course, some of, of the course. things you've uh, said on the internet. And the, guess so what? they're going to not I, believe you unless you come at it the very drug coherently. Test, man, Andrew, Andrew, I'll go to the fucking Romania and take a drug test in front of your face. Bro, you don't want to come here. <laughs> you, you don't need Romanian jail. It's bad for your fight camp. But uh, I, I'm, I'm just asking, like, you're going to have to, you're going to have to tell a far more, co more coherent story from start to finish for people to truly understand that what you're saying happened is what you saw and that this is not some sort of episode or anything else. This is my advice to you as a brother. I'm trying to make it, if you want people to believe you, you're going to have to come along and explain from the absolute beginning exactly how it happened, who was involved, how you got there, what car you were in, where you were standing, everything. Of course they're going to want that. And I have all the information possible. Okay. So when you're releasing it, how you're releasing it, or are you keeping it for yourself? Cause it looks like you don't want to keep it for yourself. I don't. At the right time, I'm going to release all of it. But at the right time, I'm going to do it. They're already calling me to tell me to stop. I don't give a fuck, dude. I've already had a meeting with them. I'm going to let you sit with that, Andrew. All right, bro. Well, I want you to know that either way, I'm praying for you. And I hope that. Thank you, bro. You know, no, and, and I, mean I don't that, give absolutely. a fuck, bro. Alex Jones has been saying the same shit and they- So basically, Ryan Garcia is probably having a mental breakdown or has taken hard drugs. Either way, we are praying for him because he has a fight coming up with Devin Haney soon and I don't think he is fit enough to fight. But hopefully he gets some help and we should all pray for him.